All right, so now we are gonna downgrade our hacked Hankaku 3.70 to um, 3.60 through Modoro. So going back to this, go to settings, make sure that under Hankaku settings, we have unsafe homebrew, and then close that out. Um, make sure you're still plugged into your PC because you're gonna need that. So we have Trinity and Vita, Vita Shell. And then in my uh, links, you'll see a section for Modoro. And this is the, the Flow's official Modoro GitHub. And now we're gonna download the VPK file. So we're just gonna download that. Under my Trinity, Trinity folder, I'm gonna create a new one. And I'm just gonna put Modoro. just so I can separate this from our um, Hinkaku hacking. So that's there. Actually, I can close this one too. And this, um, I'll save that in a second, but you don't need this one. And now you'll go back to the Vita, go to Vita shell, and start that. This is what I mean by you have to have your um, Vita connected by USB to the computer. You are now going to press select right here on the Vita. And on the computer, you'll see it popped up this, uh, this window. So as you can see, calendar data, MMS, Vita shell. There's not much on here. Why? Because this is a fresh Vita and I haven't done anything to this so there's no data on this yet so what we'll do is actually drag Modoru onto this folder so we have that I'll open up Trinity split the screen Modoru the VPK goes down here once that's done you'll go back to your Vita Alright, so go back to Vita Shell, start it, and you will go to UXO, uh, scroll all the way down, and you'll see the VPK for Modoro. Highlight that, press X, and X again to install Modoro. So it might say request extended permissions, just say yes, installing, and then close this out look for the Midoru icon there it is and now we're back on the PC again so on the github it's telling us to obtain the PSP2 dot I mean the PSP2 UPDAT dot PUP file and that is the firmware version that we want for 3.60 so this is the this is it right here, the link, the firmwares. We're gonna go all the way to 3.60. There it is. And we're gonna download this, put it in our Modoro folder. Download and allow. So just let that download for now. And once that is done, save it in your Modoru folder. So that's going to download 300 megabytes. And once that is complete, should be good to go. Close that window. Now this, open up the WinRAR and you're going to drag out um, or you're going to double click the zip file. There's three of them, make sure you, cl you click the one that's just um, PS Vita OFW and then the firmware number dot zip. And then this is the PSP2 uh, updat.pup file that we need. So let's drag that over to our Modoru folder. 
close all of these extra windows and now we are going back to Vita Shell. Vita Shell, open that up. All right, so now click select on the Vita again. It's going to reconnect the Vita to the computer and you'll see the folders back up there. Go to view and click this button right here or this uh, box hidden items. If for whatever reason um, it's not showing you any hidden items, go up here and just type slash app. There you go. So you'll see the Medoro uh, folder. Go in there and drag that PSP to update or up that, that PUP file in there. Let it copy and once that is done, we'll go back to the Vita and use that file to downgrade. Alright, so it's all done. Disconnect. We're back on the Vita now. And on the Vita, as you can see, we have the hacked version still. Go to Medoru. Start it up. And it's saying disable all your plugins before using this software if you have already disabled them but still got this message, reboot your device and launch this software again. And we'll do a quick reboot. Alright, so I restarted the Vita. And it won't be hacked now because if I try to start a Vita shell, it'll give me an error. So this is what I mean by going to install Enzo on this by going to 3.60 so we gotta launch Trinity again and Vita Shell is already installed so we don't need to reinstall that but we would like to reinstall Henkaku and another way of skipping this uh, skipping this part is by um, changing the Thai folder in UXO and URO but that requires the computer again so everything is loaded it's Hinkaku'd again and we are now on Medoru so as you can see it's saying firmware information current is 3.70 let me zoom in a bit and we want to go to 3.60 which is our PSP to up that, that PUP and the firmware for factory is actually 3.3 so there you go we are gonna press X and it's gonna actually install and downgrade that the Vita to 3.60 um, so why 3.60 a lot of people will probably say you know 3.65 is better or even 3.68 um, I choose 3. Point, and while I talk, I'm going to accept this. I'm going to choose 3.60 because it's the easiest uh, one to install Enzo on. Um, it's just a browser install, and then you download the VPK for Enzo. And I'll show you guys that in a bit. Um, versus 3.65, where there's a lot of extra step to it. So if your Vita can target um, I mean can do a firmware downgrade to 3.60 I would highly recommend it and also um, while this is uh, downgrading another reason why to go to 3.60 is there is now a plugin called refood and that allows you to um, make any games or any um, software compatible with 3.60 which would otherwise require 3.65 or 3.68 so this is going to be taking a few seconds to downgrade and once it's done installing I am going to show you how to get Enzo
and instead of turning off the camera I just wanna wanted to show the whole thing so I'll just keep keep the camera on and just go with it so this is the first time I'm also doing all of this guys so you know I've watched a lot of other YouTube videos some are really good um, shout out to tech savvy buyer and um, a little bit of tech James and there's one more person that I'm forgetting but I'll try to uh, give them a shout out in the description so now it's restarting my computer is actually able to see the Vita through QCMA already um, let me open this up alright so now we are on 3.60 we still have Vita Shell and Modoru on here. Um, what we want to do is actually we want to get rid of those. So Modoru we don't need anymore because we are not downgrading anymore, and Vita Shell we can't use yet because we are not hacked yet. So let's do a quick reboot to clean this system um, device has been disconnected on the computer and turn it back on there we go the next thing we are actually gonna do is once again hack the Vita we started by hacking it on 3.70 now we're gonna hack it on 3.60 so First thing you want to do, go to browser, go here. Um, I actually loaded it up earlier. Henkaku.xyz. And this should load. It says Henkaku was successfully installed. Okay, so I don't see molecular shell here, so that means it didn't go through. We're going to open up browser, and now we're actually going to hold R1 while this loads. So forcing reinstall, installing the package, and Henkaku was successfully installed. Let that close, and there it is. We have molecular molec I cannot pronounce that molecular shell. So that's what we wanted to see, and on to the next step. All right, so now we have molecular shell. That means you can download other plugins from this point on. Um, Vita Shell, Adrenaline, Enzo, most definitely, that is your permanent Henkaku. Um, I'm going to stop the video here because I actually plan to change things up. I'm going to use a SD to Vita micro SD adapter so that I can increase the storage I have for the Vita. Instead of 1 gigabyte, I can bring it to either 64 or even better, 128 gigabyte. Um, using a micro SD card so just to recap we went from 3.70 uh, official firmware hacked it Madoru to downgrade to 3.60 official and then we used Henkaku XYZ to then hack the Vita back to just 3.60 Henkaku stay tuned for the next video which is the SD to Vita configuration and Thanks for watching. That'll be part two. See you in the next video. Bye.